in Tornado Alley. Speeding cars blast by turtles crossing the road. To them, it must be the equivalent of severe storms gusting over. Turtles are like people. They're individuals that react differently to the scary winds. In the face of danger, some freeze up and crawl into their shells. Others have the gall to up and run for shelter. And others, well, bless their hearts. March and April, I observed some classic supercell structures, dramatic lightning, severe hail with double rainbows, but no tornadoes. Looks like some chasers have been waiting longer than me to see a tornado. Despite some poor route choices, Kansas back roads would eventually lead me to my first tornado of the year. Big hail's coming now. We should probably run. And there we go. It's been a while since I've replaced a windshield. It's, it, it's all it takes. It's about to tornado right in front of us. Sink it. Oh, slide. Sliding all over. I think I see a giant tornado in there. Yep. It did it. The storm did it. Just barely see it up ahead. On the other side of this monster, Blake, Brown, and gang had a much better view. This is gonna have to be good now. Yeah, definitely. The following day in Oklahoma, powerful positive lightning strikes were the highlight. Positive lightning typically originates higher in the storm, and flash durations tend to exist longer than less powerful negative strikes. This dude wants to be on camera. Lightning hits him, I'm sure it'll go viral. On this day, negative lightning was the thing. Negative lightning flashes tend to be quicker and with multiple flickers or strokes. Imagine your whole life, all you've ever eaten is poop. Every day, poop. And then one day, some stranger walks up to you and gave you a banana. You're gonna want some of that, dude. Oh yeah, get in there. I think there's gonna be a sunset here in a second, so we should probably set up for that. But it's fun feeding the dung beetles. Let's find another one. There's another one over here. Oh, you're in for a treat. You do not wanna run from this. Turn around, yep. Get you some banana. Life will never be this good ever again. They might be the happiest creatures in the world right now, right in front of you. You're welcome, guys. One of those special moments again. Here we are, doing a time lapse here. We've got some friends over Ooh. here. You guys, There's ready? absolutely nothing to see here. <laughs> nothing at all. Watch out! Just kidding. Just kidding. Another day of beautiful lightning and meager tornado potential long-term outlooks suggested little hope for forecastable tornadoes in the weeks ahead. Welcome to Tornado Alley. See, you think that was a folding effect? That was real. This is real. Season 2018 has started in late May. 
Now this season's over. What can I say? Daniel's leading the way up north to this next little severe warm storm. Let's follow Daniel and let him get the speeding ticket. Speeding through town, 52 to 35. And I'm about to get a speeding ticket right now. There's a tornado warning right up here. I've been chasing all day. Give me a ticket. Come on, let's go. On May 19th, I arrived just in time to see the storm die. To my surprise, decaying mesocyclones are actually pretty neat to watch. I've said it a hundred times, the most dangerous thing about storm chasing is not the tornadoes, it's not the lightning, it's not the hail, it's the commute. It's 2.24 in the morning, this guy comes flying up behind me about 90, 100 miles per hour. I grab this steering wheel, I thought, here it goes, he's going to smash me. The last minute, he swerved into the left lane, lost control of his car, smashed the f***ing out of my TIT, and, uh, and then drove off and I tried to go after him and my car is all smashed in. Looked like a Pontiac Grand Am. But when they saw that I was immobilized, he's like, later. <laughs> he took off. Old saying, when it's good, it's fun. And when it's bad, it's funny. <laughs> First heaps going up for the day. You can see the bulge of congestus up front. The one behind it is a little thicker. You can see the anvil. Here it is on satellite. There's that storm right here. Kind of excited about today. I probably shouldn't be, but uh, it feels like the first real May storm chase. Um, and I'm sitting here in this 10% chance right on the boundary. So let's see what happens. Land spout tornado, two of them. Crossing the crazy highway here. What were you thinking? He said, there's a girl. Ah, well, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. But dude, listen, no girl is worth dying for. Wait, that's not true. Uh, let's try something else. Okay, listen, listen. Live to do you know what another day. If you see a snake in eastern Colorado or western Kansas in the daytime, it's most likely... This bull snake, see that car right there? Listen, it's the last sound you're gonna hear before you die. Are you thirsty? You want some water? Here, hang on. You're trying to get, get you some. There you go, look at that. Look at him gulping up that water. Get you some. <laughs> Just stick your whole face in there and get you some water. I thought you looked thirsty. Save some for me. You gonna come up for breath? can out here. There's always another lady bull snake in the prairie. Remember that. So don't go crossing a road. You're not listening to a word I'm saying, are you? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Good boy. I'll have some too. 
See? Who's your friend, huh? Who just hooked you up? What you think, Dan? It looks pretty good right now. Yeah. It's like our little wall cloud might be dying and maybe coming back and breathing in and out like they do. I saw you yesterday. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Another day, another mean supercell. Watch this turquoise hail core become more greenish as the sunlight changes in the evening. Some dude riding down his bicycle. Man, they're just rotating like crazy right above me right now. Here we go, on the side of me. It's right above me. There it is. The next couple days brought storms with linear modes. Within squall lines, strong outflow winds often shunt tornado genesis. But these storms are very capable of churning out vibrant lightning. Sometimes, even for storm chasers, a tornado warning is the last thing you want to see, especially after dark in an area with only one paved road. We're going through the town of Ord, and there's a tornado warning right here. And I don't want to be here. I just want to escape. It's all the way right now. Totally creepy. It's on top of us. I don't see it. There goes Mike. What's up, Mike? If you're from West Texas, you've heard all the tales of the Marfa ghost lights. Might have even seen them. But no one has been able to accurately explain the mystery until now. Hey, friend. We had a pretty storm. You just walk around in your salad and eat all day. You live in a salad. Somebody pooped all over your butt. Another day and another tornado-worn storm that refused to reveal its dangly bits. After the sunset, the lightning, the stars, and the fireflies were far from shy. It seemed the theme for 2018 was gnarly, tornado-worn storms reluctant to drop tornadoes. But there was no shortage of beautiful storm structures and epic lightning. This dangerous storm provided me with a shot I've always dreamed of capturing. It's just non-stop. the tree.
Tree is on fire. Look at that. Got the tree again. Holy moly. Oh man, I'm next. I'm next. Don't touch anything metal. This farm chase vehicles just keep getting weirder. What do you think of 2000? What year is it? 2018? I wish it was 19. <laughs> right. What do you think of 2018? <laughs> this storm system was unlike any storm I've ever seen, or even dreamed of seeing, or even heard of. It began with extremely erratic lightning discharges. Some of the lightning was striking up from the earth into the clouds. I've documented upward moving lightning, sometimes two discharges at a time, but this storm was throwing three up at a time. Then a cluster of six, followed by a cluster of eight. For me, this one second made 2018 great. a cluster of 14 liters reaching up into the sky. There it is. I wonder where that banana went. It's getting crazy in here. By June 28th, I'd called it a season and was heading back home to Texas. Check out this road warrior. Look at that dude. <laughs> yeah, man. Say hi to Mel Gibson for me. Evan Ludis was heading to Montana to capture the storm of the year. Tornado in Montana. Wow. Two thousand eighteen reported just under a thousand confirmed tornadoes in the U.S. Only ten tornado-related fatalities were recorded this year, the lowest ever since records began in eighteen seventy-five, and it's the first year ever that no F or EF fours or fives were rated since implemented ratings dating back to nineteen fifty. I was only able to document six decent tornadoes, my least productive year since two thousand eight. But I never got stuck in the mud. I only broke one windshield, only got one speeding ticket, and was only smashed into by one crackhead. Though it was a lackluster year for tornado aficionados, it was by far my greatest year ever for capturing lightning. When dealing with Mother Nature, all we can do is try to make the best of whatever she dishes out.
Until next time, friends. Happy trails.